Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Luis and today I'm going to unbox and review the AIMA A06. So this is not the first amplifier I make a review from AIMA. I already have the AIMA A07 and the AIMA A07 Pro. You can check the videos on my channel, but today we are going to speak about the A06. It's a stereo amplifier that can power two speakers. It is designed for home audio and video system and uses a TDA7498E chip. Just to say that I'm not uh, an audio engineer, I'm not also an audio expert so this review will be about uh, what do, what do i think about the product and if i like this kind of amplifiers okay so i'm just a youtuber with the computers and audio and this is my review about uh, the unit okay so the amplifier needs a single power supply between 24 to 36 volts it has many features like intelligent and thermal overload protection, a small offset less than 20 mV, and differential input to minimize noise. So this is the back side of the unit. As you can see, we can connect the pictures and we have the connection for the power supply, the auxiliary check or RCAs and in the front we have the, the volume knob, bus and treble and we, on the power button we can select from RCA and or auxiliary or turn it off ok so the amplifier maximum power output is 160 watts per channel and as I explained you can use it either for with RCA or auxiliary 3.5 millimeters input to connect devices like your phone, computer, TV or DVD. It doesn't have Bluetooth, so if you are willing to, to buy this product and I will leave the links in the video description, I will also link the Walmart link and also I'm a website on the video description so if you want to know more about the I'm a range uh, you can just have a look on the website and and check for more details okay so all about the the amplifier is already passing through the, the the screen so if I forget something you can always read from from the those subtitles okay so the a06 uses high and low pitch design to create a suitable range for different music. Also you can replace the OPM chip inside to upgrade the sound quality. So as you can see we are now on the IEM website where you can look into more details of the AIMA zero, A06 and also to the Walmart so right now it's a $65.99 and once again you can read all about it on the links that I will be leaving on the video description So, yeah, I, I will be providing a, a test sound on, on this video, so you can 
get an idea what kind of sound you will be getting if you buy this amplifier and uh, but now I will show you the difference between in size and appearance comparing with the IMA A07 so you see so the ship from the it's it's total it's a totally different chip from the one used on the A07 also the size it's different and but the AIMA A06 does have treble and bass while the A07 does not also the A07 it's 300 watt output okay but if you want to, to see the review about the, the A07 you can also check my channel for more details so this is just to, to give you an idea about the size about appearance about uh, the knobs on the front and also the connections on the on on the back side also the A07 does not have Bluetooth so if you plan to use it with Bluetooth you need to connect a dongle and it will work really nice okay so currently on my setup I am using the A07 Pro I was using the A07 but I switched it to the Pro version so the Pro version as you can see it has an antenna that means that I don't need to connect a, a Bluetooth dongle and and yeah it's it's thinner than the A07 so I may I kept the A07 but uh, I'm currently using the A07 Pro also I have a video the review about uh, that unit so if you want to know more about it check my channel okay so let's compare sizes once again now with the a07 Pro okay as you can see let's check now okay uh, how do I have it connected with the banana plugs And now the three units so don't forget if you are getting any value from this video to drop a like so it helps a lot the channel keeps me motivated to continue to produce videos and I really hope this is useful if you are looking for a small amplifier for your living room for your computer setup or somewhere in your house these are reliable amplifiers so you see I have three I will not sell so I will use those and so this is the the, the backs the back part of the three units and now I'm going to to make the sound test so these will be the, the speakers that uh, I will be using and as I told you it doesn't have Bluetooth so here you can find a, 
a Bluetooth dongle you can buy from AliExpress or something else and then we can do the test I will come back after the test okay see you in one minute So, based on the information provided, the A06 TDA7498E 2.0 channel power amplifier appears to be a good option for those looking for a quality amplifier without breaking the bank. With an output power of 160 watts, 4 ohm load, 36 volt, and a high signal to noise ratio of 94 decibels, users can experience high quality sound without spending too much money. Additionally, the amplifier supports various input modes and output modes, making it versatile and suitable for different types of electronic equipment. So now we have a look in detail for the components inside. So the heat sink, the condensers, the, the wire connections, the soldering, and the, the amps, the replaceable amps more in detail and this is how it looks on the other side of the motherboard 
really clean also the knobs these ones are a, a bit different from the the other two units so as you can see more in detail here the switchable chips so in summary this can be a good choice for those looking for a budget friendly yet high quality amplifier once again don't forget to check the other videos for the other amplifiers on my channel and if you are not a subscriber consider to subscribe and stay in touch for future videos and don't forget to drop a like and thanks a lot i catch you on a new video bye bye